guys, what's up? It's Shelby and welcome back to my channel. So today is day six. Day six of Halloween week. I'm so very excited. I think this is day six. Is this day six? Three, no, I think this is day five. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've lost count because I've pre-filmed everything, so it's not like I just filmed yesterday, so I know what day it is. Um, but I think this is day six, because I think... I think... I don't know. <laughs> so today, I am going to be doing a clown look. So I know this is pretty basic, but the clown look that I'm going to do is kind of cool. I'm going to um, add in some special effects makeup for people who want to do that. You can totally skip out on that step if you would like, but um, I feel like it just adds a little scariness into the situation. <laughs> so yes, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see next down below, and let's just get right into the video. I have my look. Um, here so I am going to prime um well not prime I'm going to add some foundation um on just this part of my face I'm going to avoid down here because I don't know if you can tell on camera but my chin is very bruised because um last night at dance we were doing um like middle split pull throughs and I don't quite have my middle splits yet so when I pulled through I fell and I landed on my chin so kind of down here is pretty bruised and I don't want to irritate it and I'm also breaking out from all of the um face paint that I've done like down here um because this is kind of my problem area like right around here in my forehead so I'm just going to focus my foundation here um you could pretty much do a full face if you wanted but um we're going to mostly be focusing on eyes and lips mostly anyways um and a little bit like down here and stuff so Yes! <laughs> um, I'm just going to be using a um, foundation. I'm using um, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Porcelain, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Porcelain. I need this one. Okay. So like I said, I'm just focusing it around here, covering up that blemish that I picked and now it is was bleeding. And then up a little on my forehead as well. So I'm just going to blend it out with a brush. This is the um, NYX Professional Makeup um, number 22 brush. I really like this brush actually. I use it a lot for my FX makeup. Um, but it is really, really good to blend out your foundation with. Um, so yeah. I actually got this with the Total Control Drops. I used to be in love with those, but I got the wrong shade, so I never really used it, but I loved it, and I never, because we don't have an Ulta where I live, and then I didn't have a credit card, so I never was able to repurchase the right shade, so. So I'm going to go in with some concealer because your girl has bags. <laughs> this is the Catrice um, Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade, this is also in the shade Porcelain. Um. So I'm just going to add that here, again over this blemish because it's kind of hard to cover up. And I'm also going to prime my eyes with this as well. You blend this out. I have actually been in a brush mood lately. I don't know why, but I just don't have to get up and go wet the beauty blender. But this is the It Cosmetics um, Airbrush Concealer Brush. Like the name pretty much rubbed off on it and it's like really hard to see. This is the 103 brush, I think it's what it is. I love this. Um, at first I hated it because it does not work with the um, Tarte Shape Tape. And that's what I was using when I first got this brush. And I hated the way it looks, so I like didn't use it. And then I tried it with this concealer and it is so good. I love this brush so much. So I'm just going to blend out my concealer with it. Ugh. It just blends it out so good and seamlessly. Like... I love it so much. And then to set everything, I am going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Translucent on a little e.l.f. powder puff. Um, I actually learned this technique from Rach Loves, and it has changed everything. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but every time I use it, my concealer just doesn't crease as much. Instead of using even, like, a beauty blender, I don't know, it really just sets everything down really, really nicely. I'm going to move on to the eye look. I'm going to use this Morphe one, seeing it has a mirror in it, because I, like I say, I always forget a mirror. So this is the Morphe um, Always Golden 9A palette. Um, I think you can only get these at Ulta. I think I saw that, or like only online. 
I have no idea. I got this from my friend. <laughs> so, um, I am going to just use pretty much all these, like, warm, dark shades. I need brushes, though. I come so unprepared. I just, like, love filming that I just forget to, like, prepare everything before I start filming. <laughs> okay, so first I'm going to take the shade, um, Witness and myself and I'm going to mix those and I'm just going to blow this out in my crease take a smaller brush this is the Quivange brush it doesn't have a name on it but I'm going to take the shade bruise up here and I'm going to run that in my crease as well I really want to build this shade up in the crease so I'm gonna go in with like two layers of that shade I'm gonna take the black right here called Storm on a Morphe M507 brush and I'm gonna focus this on the outer corner and half of my lid. So now that that is done, um, I don't really wanna use any of the shimmers in this palette. I don't really like them that much. Not gonna lie, the shimmers in this palette are not the best, but the mattes are pretty good. I'm gonna take my Sofax Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going to take the shade right up here in this corner and I am going to just use my finger and pop that on my lid and halfway into the lid to meet that black shade. So for my under eyes, um, what I'm going to do is I am just going to take the black shade that we used. Oops, sorry, brush. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use it on this little pencil brush, and I'm just going to really put this under my eye all the way around, all the way through. And I'm really blowing that black shade out. I'm going to take the shade, um, I'm going to mix um, myself, witness, and bruise all together and blend the black shade out. Okay. So next I'm going to pop on some um, winged liner and I'm going to use my NYX Epic Liner, Epic Ink Liner, my bad, <laughs> um, just in the shade black. I think there's only two shades. I think there's black and brown because I think I need to get a new one of these pretty soon, but that's okay. Black eyeliner. This is my Lancome Lee Crayon Coal in the shade Black Ebony. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm first going to take it in this inner corner here, and I'm going to bring it down out of my inner corner. I'm also going to bring it here. and make a triangle under my eyes right about here. I am going to switch to a um, gel liner because this one is not working. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Eye Studio um, gel liner in the shade black. Black is black. And I'm just going to finish it, like fill it in and sharpen it up a little bit. And I'm also going to make a circle right here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white face paint on the back of my hand per usual. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little brush. This one is already white, so might as well use this one. Um, I'm going to draw a circle, like a half circle, above my eyebrow. Kind of. That is done. I'm going to let this white face paint dry. Do this eye off camera, prop on some mascara and lashes, and I will be back to finish this off. Okay, so this eye is done, and this is um, dry enough. <laughs> I would recommend putting this on first if you're going to use a face paint because it does take a minute to dry. 
So just to catch you guys up, my lashes that I'm using are these Blowout Lashes by Kiss in the shade um, Page Boy. I love these lashes so much. They're so weightless and like even when I put my glasses on, I can't feel them against the lenses, which is so good because a lot of lashes that I use, I can feel them there. So I don't tend to use lashes that often, but these ones, oh my God, I love them so much. So yes, and I also just put on some mascara. I used um, my uh, Maybelline Big Shot mascara and I also put some black in the bottom and upper lash line. I'm going to use a black face paint. Um, and I'm just going to draw these same triangles that we did under our eyes um, on the top or over that white um, face paint. I don't really see the white because of the lighting. But, so I'm just going to bring it straight up into a triangle, making it higher than the actual circle. Okay, so the black is on. I love this look already and we're not even done. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, outline our um, right here. So I'm just taking the same black eyeliner and I'm going to start out here. And I'm going to take it in and then up. Kind of make like a indent. And then back out. And then doing the same thing again right here. Indenting it and then back out. And then I'm going to take it up the nose. Like that. Okay, and then the same thing on this side. Okay, and then I'm also going to draw a circle on my nose in the black. I'm just going to now shade it out almost, so I'm going to take a black eyeshadow. I'm just using the one in the Soph X um, Revolution palette right here. I need a bigger brush than this. I'm going to use this little brush. Okay. I'm going to just use this little brush and take the black. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shade down. I love the way that this looks. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit more of a white face paint to the black nose. The nose. That went a little overboard, but that's okay. Just gonna sharpen it up with this black face paint. See, I just kind of want it like right there just to kind of give it some like definition. Okay, so for the lips now, what I'm going to do is put the black face paint all on my mouth. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that black on the back of my hand again. And I'm just going to put it all on my lips and kind of into a smile. Okay, so now that that part is done, what I'm going to do next is take a red eyeshadow. Out of the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take this shade right here. And I am going to just use it on a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to shade under. And around the black. I'm actually just gonna use this. I'm gonna use this flat shade of brush instead. Because that was not working the way I wanted it to. Okay, and then to deepen that up even more, I'm going to take the darker red shade right here and really just focus that um very close to the black. Okay, 
Okay, you can stop here if you would like, but I'm going to go do the FX makeup. Um, I'm going to do a cut on my throat, and then I will be back for the end. If you want to know how to do a cut, um, I will leave my video linked down below where I show you guys how to do the FX makeup for it, and I will be back to finish. Okay, guys, I am back, and this is the end look. Um, blood is dripping everywhere. Um, like I said, this part is totally optional, but I think it gives it some creepiness to it so yes don't forget to check out yesterday's video and stay tuned for tomorrow's video halloween week is coming to an end and i'm so sad i love this so much um it's stressing me out just a little bit so i kind of can't wait for it be to be done but i love the creativity of halloween so yes um i will see you guys tomorrow